hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to do a little get ready with me so i'm going to show you my makeup look my hair and my outfit that i am um going with today but i'm basically going out for dinner um, lockdown uh, has like restrictions have kind of eased, you know, we're in phase three. I feel like my videos are just updating I'm like phase one, phase two, phase three, but it's phase three. And I'm going out for dinner with my mum and dad. And yeah, so I just wanted to be kind of glam, but like not too much. But I also wanted to show you my hair look and a wee outfit as well. So if you want to see how I get ready today, then just stay tuned. Okay, I don't know why it looks like I've got tan lines, like, I genuinely like, like, that's just weird, but we move. So today, I'm going to just start with, I've already primed, um, not primed, I've already moisturised, and I'm going to start with my SPF. So I use the La Roche Posay, um, I don't know what it's called, well, it's 50 plus, but it's a tinted one. Oh my god, I just dropped it. So you have to give it, like, a good shake. And then, as you can see, it doesn't come out like white, so that's it there. It comes out like a tinted colour, so I like that because I hate when you have that like white cast on your face with an SPF, like it actually just annoys me so much. Yeah, I'll go back to work tomorrow. Um, so obviously I do makeup and I do brows, so I've got people booked in tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So it's, it's starting, starting with a bang, but to be honest, like I've been off for four months, so... I want to like, I want to really work hard now. Okay, so now our SPF is on, I'm going to use the Becca Backlight Priming Filter for my primer. So this is my primer, um, it's super glowy primer, I think I've used it in a video before. It is amazing this stuff. See if I'm not wearing makeup one day, I literally just, and I just, I'm going out, I'll just put this on because it just makes your skin glow. But it also works a really nice primer for foundation. Okay, so we're not doing too much in the eyes today, so I'm going to start with foundation and then we'll do like our eyebrows and then, yeah, stuff like that. So I'm going to use, this is like my favourite foundation combo of the moment. It is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. So this is like a super full coverage, kind of like a matte, but not too matte. It's like a, it's like a demi matte. And I like mixing it with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation. Um, so this is like a water foundation. It's super liquidy. But it's um, quite a light coverage, but it's quite dewy as well. So the, mi the mix together gives a really nice coverage, but still quite dewy, which I love. I've not got too much tan on it, so it makes quite a nice colour because I'm not my, like, my darkest yet. You guys really liked the tan video that I've done a few weeks ago, um, but I absolutely love that tan. It's so good. I actually posted it on my Insta story and felt about Molly May like we posted it. I was like... I love Molly May. I feel like I want to be Molly May. I feel like everyone knows that. Like I make it pretty clear that she is my my G. And I'm going to buff it in now with my it's a Morphe Jaclyn Hill foundation brush. And then I'm just going to go over it with a beauty blender just to press it into the skin. Okay, so for concealer, I'm using my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Concealer and I'm just putting this on the usual areas. I'm just going to avoid the eyes now because I'll do my concealer for my eyes once I'm kind of doing like my eyeshadow. Right, so I'm just applying it in the usual areas, keeping it nice and highlighted. Obviously this is like a little shade lighter so it's going to help to brighten up the area and then just buff it out with a beauty blender. So I'm just taking a bit of a smaller beauty blender and buffing out the under eye. So now we've done our skin and I'm really happy with the coverage, I'm going to go and do my brows. So the product I'm going to use is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and I use it in the shade Brunette. Um, I've just been doing my brows a little bit lighter these days. I, I laminated them about three or four weeks ago now. So the lamination's starting to wear off. But I've been kind of just like filling it in with a pencil and like fluffing it up I think it just looks really really cool it just, I just, I'm just into quite natural eyebrows I don't really know because usually I go in with a powder and I make them quite dark um, but I literally so what I do is I literally just fluff them up and draw like little strokes but I've, I've been liking the, the more natural brow trend guys uh, so basically what I do is I fluff it up 
I'm just drawing directly underneath. I like to make my brows a little bit lower here. It gives it makes the arch emphasize a little bit more. And then when I go lower, I just fl flick and do little strokes. As I like them to look like that kind of laminated way. And then I just kind of again do a line. It's literally just making like a line underneath and strokes up. And then I like to just extend the tail ever so slightly. As you can see. The difference to that one like it looks really good so i like to just clean it up with a little bit of concealer so i'm going to take that bare minerals concealer once again and then i'm just going to take a flat shader brush this one's in the black canvas e89 and then i just basically just draw a line straight under my brows And then I'm going to just take more. Oh my god, my nail just fell off. See, this is why we need acrylics back in our life. Um, I'm just going to take some of that concealer and I'm just going to prime the lid down. The eyebrow is literally giving me life. Wow. Okay, so this look also um involves no eyeshadow at all so i'm going to do eyeshadow look but without using an actual like palette so to do that i'm going to go in with bronzer so i'm going to use the well first i'm going to go with bronzer i'm just going to use my hula my trusty hula and i'm just going to take a fluffy brush this one's a morphe one this is a jh32 by morphe and basically what i'm going to do is make sure i blend out any creases on my eyelids and it is so easy I just want to take that bronzer and buff it in the crease. Um, you can be so messy with this. You can apply. You can just be, yeah, just really be messy. Like you can just. Um, I kind of like to take it a little bit out here. Um, but I just find like look at the difference. I don't know if you can see so that little bit of definition. It just makes your eyes just way more defined to stand out way more. Um, so I'm just doing the exact same with the other eye, just making it super. Um, diffused like so. So I'm pretty happy with that. We're not wanting to make it too dark, and um, we're just wanting a nice little wash of colour. So then the next step, and that is literally the eyes done, is I'm taking a highlighter. So this is the Inglot Mora collaboration, and it is basically a highlighter. It's in a pot, so it's like a loose formula. It's called the Sparkle Dust Highlighter, and it's in the shade City Lights. So it's like in a gold colour. And I'm going to use this for my face, but I'm also going to use it for my eyes today and I'll do a little swatch for you so this is the most beautiful gold highlighter colour like look at that like it is so pigmented they're like insane so what I'm going to do is apply that on the lid and I'm just going to apply it with my finger because your finger sometimes can give the most pigment and then I'll be buff it out and then what I do is I take that brush that we use for the bronzer just to make sure that the bronzer is like um mixed in with that the lighter colour. We're just basically applying it on the like the first half of the eyelid and then I just buff it out with the brush. I'm just adding a little bit more to each eye to make it the intensity of like I like I want no shimmer. And that is literally the eyeshadow done. How easy is that? It's not even eyeshadow, like it's just so easy. But it's so effective. Like I'll show you what I do. I'll show you guys. So I'm now gonna go with the liner. So I'm just gonna take my Maybelline gel liner. Just pull my eye. Oh, Doo -doo 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 -doo. La, 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 la. So now is the wing, yeah, it's the Inglot Mora liner. So basically, how I apply this is uh, just start on the lid. I find it really hard to talk and I basically I'm focusing on the wing first and then I'll do the inner corner. Okay, so this is a bit thicker this one but it's okay. We're going for a thick liner today, guys. It's okay. 
Okay, so now I'm going to apply some mascara. So I'm going to go with the NARS Climax mascara. So I'm literally just using this mascara to make my lashes like black. And then for lashes, I'm just reusing my have a pair of the um, Tatty Tail 3. This is the lashes that I probably wear all the time. I think probably in every video, like, I probably wear my Tatty Tail 3. So I've just um, applied my dual glue and then we're letting it dry. You know. So that is the lashes applied. So I'm going to go and do the rest of my face before I finish off that under eye. Um, so I've applied concealer, so now it's time for bronzer. I'm going to use my Natasha Denona Sculpt and Glow palette. I'm going to use the cream contour colour. I'm just applying it with a shader brush. And I'm basically applying this everywhere you cream contour. And then I take it down my nose. I love a contour nose. And then to buff that out, I'm going to go in with my Chanel Le Beige bronzer. So I'm going to apply this with a Bare Minerals smoothing face brush. This is the cream bronzer and I'm going to use this cream bronzer to buff out the contour. But yeah, I'm quite interested. So what is, comment down below guys. Um, what is your favourite makeup product? Like what could you not live without? Because mine is 100% bronzer. Like how nice does my skin look? And that is just those two products. So to set down that cream contour, I'm just going to go in again with the hula that I use on my eyes. As I said, this bronzer is like, I don't think I'll ever love it like another bronzer like I like this one. Like, it is the best formula, best colour for me. And obviously the side is going to make your nose look slimmer. Um, and then I'm going to use powder next. So the powder I'm going to use, no surprise there, is my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm going to take a small powder brush and powder down the kind of areas that I don't want to get oily. So I like to go on my forehead, kind of like in between my eyebrows. I don't like buff this in, I like to press the powder in with this brush. The reason why I do that is because it just kind of presses into the skin that way, rather than just like sweeping it on top. I'm just going to bake underneath my contour and I like to put it also at the sides of my nose. So for highlighter today I'm going to go back in with the highlight that we use in our eyes. So I'm just applying it on my chin, above my lip, down my nose. But I love, I really like, I've got a few things from that Mora um, Laura in Glock collection and I really like it. Um, so that highlighter is beautiful. It's so nice. And it's a nice gold colour as well, which I always think is really summery, like a nice gold highlighter. So for blush today, I'm going to go in with the Bare Minerals Joy. I feel like I've not done like a proper tutorial in ages. I don't know if you've noticed this. Like I was just doing like vlogs and like I did my tan video and stuff. Like, But we be back, bros. <laughs> So now I'm going to go and finish off the eyes. So I'm going to go straight to eyebrows. I'm going to use the HD Brows Brow Beater. So this is just like your brow gel. And I'm going to make sure I'm fluffing my brows up. But applying a gel is just going to make it, um, your brows stay that way for the day. I just think it looks so nice and fluffed up. So I'm now going to use that highlighter again and highlight my brow bone with it and my inner corner. So I like to just put it under my brow. Look at that for inner corner highlighter. Okay, so for the under eye, I'm going to basically take that hula on a kind of smaller block fluffy brush. I'm literally just dragging that on I'm basically just doing the outer half with the bronzer and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that highlighter and actually drag a little bit underneath drag it from the inner corner and it just has it looks so pretty 
and then I'm going to just do my bottom lash mascara so I'm just going to take that NARS one again and put a coat on my bottom lashes and then what I'm going to do is um, fluff off the beak that we put on and for the next spray i'm just going to use the one that i use all the time it is my mac fix plus it's in the coconut scent it's so nice and i'm going to get my hair out of the way and i'm just going to set my makeup i'm going to use the bare minerals in fire it's like a liquid matte it's a really nice ready orange so I'm just going to kind of make sure the edges are nice and sharp. Um, but yeah, this is finished makeup and I'm so obsessed. So super simple on the eye, but obviously we've got that nice bold lip. The skin is nice glowy, dewy skin. I'm going to show you it in the daylight just because I do look a lot paler and you'll see in a minute. So as you can see, the daylight it just shows a complete different colour, but um, quite still nice and tan. I'll show you a little close up of the eye. I'm so so happy with that. So I'm gonna go and quickly do my hair, and I will show you guys what I do with my hair. Okay, so I've brushed my hair. I've got all my stuff out that I'm going to do to do my hair so I'm going to do my hair in a bun today because I feel like it'll look really nice it'll make the lip kind of stand out I am no way good at hair my mum will a hundred like if I when I had my extensions I would wear my hair like really wavy curly she would like credit to her like she would do it so I am not good at hair and I can't really believe I'm doing a hair tutorial but I'm just gonna if I get ready with me so I need to show you how I do my hair um, so obviously I had extensions, doing a bun with extensions, your hair looks like Molly Mae, you look amazing. Right now my hair is natural, this is all my own hair. So my bun is not going to be as thick. So I'm just kind of gathering it to the position that I want the bun to be in. We put it like kind of just at the back of my head, oh, put a bubble in it. Hair tie in it guys, hair tie. I like to do it like three times and then just secure it. Um, it can look a little bit messy, but we can add like a carby in it or whatever you, what you call it, hair clips, hair clips, I don't know. But if you're from Scotland, you call it a carby. Okay, so now we've got our hair up there. I'm going to, if I just went like that and twisted my hair, it would look really voluminous. So we're wanting to build on that. So I'm just going to take a backcombing brush and I'm going to backcomb my hair. So this is going to give the illusion that your hair is a lot like thicker than it actually is. You can do it super messy, like I look like a crazy person. God. Um, but it's fine. So then once I've done that, I'm going to take some dry shampoo. My dry shampoo is in a powder form. It is a Rahua Voluminous Dry Shampoo. So I like to squeeze it on my hands so I've got like powder and I just kind of sit this in my hair. Your Basically your dry shampoo is just going to make your hair more textured. Um, you can also use like a texturizing spray but I don't have any so I'm just going to use my dry shampoo. Um, okay, so once we're kind of happy with how crazy our hair looks, we're going to start doing the bun. So what I like to do is I like to start and I just kind of twist it once. I don't like to twist too much. Is that bun even good? Yeah, we'll go with that. I only twist once. The reason why if you keep twisting, it's going to make your, your bun actually appear a lot thinner than you want it to be. And obviously we want our bun to look quite thick. So I basically twist it once and I start curvy gripping it or hair gripping it, whatever you want, these wee things in place uh, and just kind of changing like the shape of the bun so I use quite a lot of hair grips, curvies, whatever you want to call it um, just because I like to make my hair sure it's quite secured also you can put like a wee curvy here to make sure like that bit appears smooth um, I've got quite a, like a big tub of them here um, and yeah that is it. So if I literally did back comb my hair or I kept twisting it, my bun would look a lot thinner than it actually is. But I'm going to quickly just put a bit of hairspray on it. That was quite, that's quite easy, guys. And I'm now going to focus on the front bits. So I like to curl it with just like a wand. I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, I also curl away from my face. I'm going to try and do that. 
I usually get my mum to do my hair. I literally never ever curl my hair. The only, like, I'll curl it if I've got my hair in a bun or a ponytail or whatever, but, like, I never ever, like, will sit down and curl my whole hair. Like, I just, my mum is so good at hair, and I'm just like, Mum, can you do my hair? Um, so, yeah, I'm going to wait for these um, tongs to heat up. This is the, it's a Beauty Works Molly May one, and the curl kit, I think it's so good. Like, the wand is really good. It's also really long, so if you've got extensions, like, I used to have extensions, and I am getting them back in. Um, it's really good because you can get, like, your full length of hair in it, so it is really good. But I'm just going to start, so I'm going to grab a bit of hair and curl away. I don't like to leave it too long, so like one, two, three, kind of like that. I like it quite, they will drop the curls, so you could go a little bit more curly, because they do definitely drop, but, and then, I'm doing the other side, so like one, two, three, and what I like to do is apply some hair spray to that bit as well. And then I like to just apply a little bit more to my bun. And that is literally my bun tutorial. It's nothing special. Like, I don't even think I've curled that the right way. I don't even know. I don't even know. But the bun looks okay. Like, it obviously will look a lot better. If your hair's so much thicker than mine, lucky you, your buns are going to be great. But this is the way I wear my hair today. It is in no means a very good tutorial. I sat filming that without my ring light on the whole time. Right, so I'm going to go and do try my outfit and I will show you guys what I'm wearing for the day. Okay guys, so here is my outfit. I'm just showing you it close up in the mirror so you can get a little gist of what I'm wearing. So I actually wore these in my Pretty Little Thing haul and I'm obsessed so I'm going to wear them today. So these are obviously Pretty Little Thing. This bodysuit is so cute. It is wee red, just like kind of square neck bodysuit. That's from Boohoo. Um, I'm just wearing it with the checkered slip-on van, the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 bag. But I love it. As I said, I love these jeans. Like, they're just such a nice fit. Actually, like, I just think this looks like Kim K. So you can pair it with like a wee leather jacket. But I love just wearing like my jacket. It's just over me. This video wearing is something like, oh. It's so cute. We can wear our wee bag with it. I also thought I'm going to give you a little close-up of the jewellery. So I'm just wearing some hoop earrings. I think these are from Claire's. Um, I'm wearing a little necklace that says my name. I've got all my wee rings on. Most of them from Pandora. And one's from my jewellers in New York. And I'm wearing my little Tommy Hilfiger watch. But I love wearing gold jewellery with like your outfit. I just think it mainly makes it super, super glam. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed me getting glam for the day. Obviously, I have a makeup. I did a little hair tutorial and I'm wearing a super cute outfit, but I am excited to go and eat out. Finally, I don't think I've ate out in what's been four months, so I'm very really looking forward to it. But if you want to see more Get Ready Sale videos, then obviously let me know down below, guys. But yes, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.